Hello, welcome to my tech farm. A few weeks ago, I tested one tech CHT nozzle. And independent from all other results, one important fact I learned in that video was when I used the hardened steel nozzle, the layer adhesion strength was one third compared to the test objects where I used the regular brass nozzle. So I know when I use the hardened steel nozzle, I have to raise the temperature and I usually do it by 10 degrees Celsius, uh, but I'm curious, is it enough? Of course, that was 0.6 millimeter nozzle. So in this video, I want to test how much I want have to raise the temperature to get the same layer attraction strength like with the brass nozzle. This is my plan for this video. I already have some data from previous testing of the CHT nozzles. And actually these two data is the main reason why I was starting to thinking about this problem. So I will reprint the new test objects with the hardened steel nozzle and this will be my marking. And I will use the same G code and only the temperature I will change manually. And then with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I have the information about the brass, but uh, I don't have information about hardened steel. Now I have only this uh, nozzle X in 0.4 millimeter size hardened nozzle. And uh, these will be my markings on those new test objects. So these are my test objects. And as you can see, I have four at a time. And also I have this cylinder in the middle. And the reason for that is that I want to keep the constant flow rate. Because uh, if I remove this cylinder, in that case here in the middle, it would slow down because of that minimal layer printing time. I will show you once the nozzle changing process on Prusa. I'm removing the part cooling fan and the fan shroud. And with the preheated nozzle, I'm using 7 liter wrench to remove the old one and inserting the new one, also still preheated nozzle and then placing back the fan shroud and the part cooling fan and it is ready for printing. This is now 0.6mm regular hardened steel nozzle. New test objects I'm printing on 225, 235 and 245 degrees Celsius and even this temperature I can see no stringing and I'm marking them with number 10, 20 and 30. And then moving to the nozzle X 0.4mm hardened nozzle and also printing on 215, 225, 235 and even on 245 degrees Celsius. And again now stringing even on this highest temperature. And new test subjects are printed so these are with 0.6 mm nozzle and these are with 0.4 mm nozzle. These test subjects were printed with 0.6 mm nozzle and now let's move to the 0.4 mm. This is printed with nozzle X. Everything is measured and now it is time to analyze the results. This Excel table you can download from my techfund.com website. These are measure values and these are average numbers. But let's analyze everything on this graph and this is uh, using the 0.6 mm nozzle. And uh, this is with the brass nozzle. You can see that I have to increase the temperature by 30 degrees Celsius to get a similar layer adhesion like with the brass nozzle. Just reminder, with the CHD B-metal nozzle, I don't have to increase the temperature and I have very similar uh, layer adhesion like with the brass nozzle. With 0.4 mm nozzle, uh, printing on the same temperature resulted a little bit weaker test objects, but increasing only 10 degrees Celsius, I got very similar layer adhesion like with the brass nozzle. And it is not worth to go even higher with the printing temperatures because uh, we may have problem with the stringing, overhang and bridging. Before final conclusions, uh, to clear one important thing one more time. With 0.6 mm I used the no-name hardened steel nozzle. With 0.4 I used the nozzle X, which is actually quite good brand, but this is what I have at home. Now the inner materials is similar, the hardened tool steel. The nozzle X has some coating to prevent sticking of the filament to the nozzle, but I don't think it has effect to the layer adhesion. Now I think where we have a bigger difference between these two nozzles is the inner hole. 
because this no name and nozzles uh, usually use the cheapest uh, tools for the manufacturing and that's the regular twist drill you know with the angle of 118 degrees at the end and with this we have bigger step between these, those two diameters inside and more friction during the extrusion okay so the final conclusions now uh, usually with 0.4 millimeter nozzle going up by 10 degrees Celsius is uh, almost uh, good enough with this uh, nozzle X perfect uh, with the no name brand hardness nozzle probably I would go with 15 degrees Celsius higher with 0.6 well definitely you saw 30 degrees Celsius is necessary to have the same layer adhesion like with the breast nozzle I don't know if I would have some better quality nozzle uh, what would be the value there uh, don't forget with CHT nozzles so we can print on the same temperatures like with the brass nozzle and we have very similar layer adhesion. If you have some other experience, you know, a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!